Hi everyone, it's Happy Milk Queen again. So um, I just did a tutorial on how to make a cupcake liner rosette. Um, and I was going through my stash and I found these cupcake wrappers. I think I got these at Michael's, but look how cute these are. Um, and I had 48 of these, but um, I had used them. I had baked some cupcakes. So I have a few left. And um, I thought, oh, this would be so cute because it's already scalloped and how cute would that be to make a rosette so here I am I'm gonna do another tutorial um, and show you guys how these came out um, so anyway I did make one and look how stinking cute they came out is that not adorable I didn't finish the back because I'm thinking I'm gonna put this in front of something like a card or a, um, a flip book but that is so cute. And then I decided to make some smaller ones. So I did cut my craft stick down. And basically what I do to cut this is I just use my heavy duty um, wire cutter. Because I know one of you guys asked that also. Um, and I just, you know, I'll go like this. And it doesn't cut through all the way. But it just kind of clamps on it and helps me hold it so that I can kind of snap it off. But that's how I did this one. So... Um, I did that one and then I decided to put some leaves on this one and basically what I used is just some glitter foam um, so the Easter eggs that I had I had this green Easter egg and basically I just you know cut a leaf shape out of this and that's how this came out so I thought it's so cute Okay, so let me just show you guys. Now it's a little bit trickier um, if they are scalloped because when you go all the way around, um, you are going to have to make sure that your last piece, um, your last petal is going to overlap with another petal here. So um, this is a five, as you can see here, a five leaf flower. That's what it creates. So um, again, I just cut right here, and this is a pretty small cupcake wrapper, so I really didn't have to cut any excess off. So just cut your bottom off again, and... Um, I don't know if they still have these at Michael's. I've had them in my stash for a long time, so maybe they have some different ones, but um, these are the ones that I had. Okay, so then let's go ahead and put our glue. And once again, we're going to work this in. They came out so cute and, you know, they came out so springy. Whoops. Alright, so, I mean, it's basically the same thing. It's just that it does get trickier when you get to the end because you want to make sure that your um, you know, now I bet you can make these a little bit bigger if you use a bigger circle punch like a one and a half inch I think I'm gonna have to try that and then that way you're not losing a petal you can make it a six petal flower um, you're just not gonna overlap so Let's see if I can try to get that in Okay, and when you get to the end, like I said, you have to make sure that this actually will land. Whoops, I think I'm going to have to stretch it out a little bit. You have to make sure it is going to actually land. Hold on, I kind of pulled on it. On your last um, petal right here, it's going to have to line up with this. So I don't even, okay, so it's going to have to line up like so. Does that make sense, guys? 
So you're gonna have to do it like that. Okay, so I think I'm gonna have to do a little pulling to do that. Um, let me see here. I hope I'm in frame because I am trying to line it up as best I can. See that? And there we go. How adorable is that, right? So stinking cute. And again, if you get a little excess, you just want to cut that off. But that is truly a rosette, truly a flower, right? <laughs> so I thought that came out so cute and I just had to share it with you guys. Now, let me show you about my craft stick. So when I cut it, I do like to make sure um, the part that I cut, that's the part that I'm going to put on top of where the flower is going to be. So let's see. In other words, these two ends, those are going to be my bottom piece. Okay, because they're kind of smoother. Because when you do cut it in the middle, and I'll show you right now. When you cut this off, they're going to, you know, of course, not, they're not going to look pretty. <laughs> not really. They snap off pretty quickly. But, you know, they're a little bit, see that? They're a little bent. So that's the part that you're going to have to glue down you know, glue on your flower, okay, because you want to make sure that's not the bottom. Otherwise, your bottom's going to look kind of funny. I mean, if, that's if you care. <laughs> um, so, let's see. I need to get another flower for the center. I ran out of the flowers, and I had it over there on the other side of the room. Okay, so you're basically going to put this right here. But before you put the stick, what I like to do is put the stick in between the petals right here. And so I'm going to put, I left the foam this time to just kind of make it a little bit more dimensional. Um, just to, it accommodates that craft stick a little better. So I do that, glue that, and then the jaggedy edge of your craft stick here, I will put a dab of glue and also on the tip. And then what I do is I just kind of tuck that end that right against I kind of push it up against that flower see that so that it's kind of nice and tucked in underneath there okay and if you get excess glue of course you want to take that off huh, I didn't do that very good okay there I think I need more glue. I didn't put in enough glue on there. Let me just pull it out again and do it again. You want to tuck it in all the way. Ugh. Anyway, it's going to look like that. Okay, so I'm just going to cut that little glue part there, because that's going to bug me. So anyway, there's your little five petal flower rosette. Isn't that cute? And then you can just add your leaves. Alright, so talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye.